Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because we have an exciting first update for my whole collection, Project Pan. I have four products that I'll be rolling out and six other products to update you guys on. If you are new to the whole collection, Project Pan, this project was created by Becky Loves Kanga many, many years ago. I was heavily inspired to do this project because I saw my friend Emily from Emily and Max do this. And I have been doing this project for the last at least I think five maybe six years and I just really enjoy this project because it is completely random my entire makeup collection is itemized on an excel spreadsheet and I randomly generate 10 products to work on at any given time so if you guys are interested in my updates stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content palette themed content or just chit chatting about makeup I'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video All right, you guys, when we did my whole collection project pan introduction, I said I was gonna do a mix of like challenging products and then I did a mix of products that weren't as challenging or maybe I just had usage goals of seven or more. So I have four products which I will be rolling out. I'm gonna save those products until the end, but I'm super excited that I have four products to be rolling out. I My goal this year is to not get bored with my makeup collection and not to get burned out with project panning. So. That's the goal, but I am really excited about the products that we'll be rolling out as well. Let's first get into the products that are not rolling out and we can start with this one right here because this is going to be a very long haul product. This is the Milani Glow Radiance Boosting Serum. I use this as a primer and I believe I've only used this three times since rolling this in. When I rolled it in, I marked it right there and I don't, like if I were to make another line marking right now, it would basically just be touching this line so it would just be like a thicker line i did have one other primer that i was working on in this project which is a rollout so i was kind of focused on that and then i also have a primer that i'm working on in my rolling project 10 pan so i figured i could kind of set this one aside for a little bit i also figured because it is like a glowy serum i know I can easily get myself to reach for this a lot in the spring summertime. So even if I don't reach for it that much these first few months of the year, we can get use out of it in the spring summer. I can use it on the body, things like that. So I know we do not have exciting progress on this, but I'm not yet worried about this product. In a few months, if we're still kind of like in the same boat, then I'll be worried. Okay, another product that I have rolled in to complete is this lip stain right here. I do have this on my lips today with a Fenty lip gloss over it. This is the YSL Tattooge Couture Lip Stain in the shade 23. I just have this little mini right here. It is a older lip product in my collection and I have given myself the goal to finish this up. It is a really comfortable lip stain and I actually really like this product. I have a larger size of this product in a different shade I don't know if they make this anymore or if they like I don't know that they do or maybe there's just shades that like aren't available at Sephora or aren't available anymore the other shade that I have I don't believe you can get anymore this is a really beautiful kind of like mid-toned like deeper neutral shade I really really like it because like I don't necessarily know I have a couple of markings on this because I've worked on this in another project before I'm not necessarily sure like where exactly I'm at as I like scrape along the sides I don't see any windowing but I don't necessarily know if it's like opaque packaging like I'm not really sure I do still feel like I have a ways to go on this and you need such little product to coat the lips and it really does a nice job at staining the lips and not without needing to like reapply frequently throughout the day. So I think this will take some time, but I will be really excited to like get this out of my collection. One, because it's old and two, because it's a lip product and three, because it's a lip stain. All three products, harder for me to work through. Right, next up we have the Say Dewy Blush in the shade Baby. I actually rolled in the shade Poppy and then I cheated a little bit and I rolled in Baby instead of Poppy. And I gave myself a 20 use goal with this one. I did reach for this a total of two out of those 20 times shame on me but i was heavily focused on the glossier cloud paint that i was working on in my rolling project 10 pan because i was so close to finishing that up and i just really wanted to finish that up i don't know if you'll be able to tell at all and i did use this product i've used this product quite a bit since i received this or since i purchased this in end of October, beginning of November, whenever this 4 VIB sale was. But there is heavy windowing 
between like the A and the I right now, like heavy, heavy windowing. And I, again, my goal is to reach for this another, yeah, like there is, I don't know how, if you'll be able to see that. Like, is that focusing? You guys have to see that windowing, right? Heavy, heavy windowing. Now granted, it is a smaller product. It is a really, really beautiful product. My favorite way to use this is when I am using like a tinted moisturizer, such as this one right here, the Iconic London Super Smoother. I love to put this on because I can put this on with my fingers. Then I just add a little bit of this and a little bit of my Merit Bronzer and it looks like, it looks like my skin but better with like some face shape, some dimension. And I really love using this that way. I'm curious to see once I've used this an additional 18 times, like where are we going to be at? Like, am I truly going to be scraping at the seams to like get to this product? I have no problem taking the stopper out of this product, but I'll be very, very curious to see where we are at. And if I could potentially finish this product up this year, maybe not these first few months of the year, but like maybe we'll return back to this next winter, like november december time and finish it up because i really like this shade i'll swatch it for you guys really quick it's a really beautiful baby pink cool toned sort of shade with almost like a hint of lavender to it but it really does sheer out to just this really really beautiful almost just pinked almost just like pinched cool toned like a cool toned pinched cheek effect with like a little bit of a dew and I really, really enjoy it. So I'm still checking away at this, only used it two times the last month, still have 18 more uses to go. But now that I, spoiler, if you haven't caught my rolling project 10 pan, now that I am not working on the glossy cloud paint, I see myself getting a lot more use out of that. Another product I did not see great success in is my Milani lipstick in the shade Tease. I gave myself a seven, seven use goal with this and i've only reached for this one time again i've had other lip products that i've been working on so that's part of it i do really love this lipstick it's one of my favorite nude lipsticks in my entire collection so i'm really hopeful that this will be a rollout next update part of it is also because i sort of just forgot about this lipstick but i'm also working on kosas vegas in my rolling project 10 pan and that lipstick is significantly older than this one so i've kind of been prioritizing this one but because i only have six uses to roll this out like this needs to be a rollout next update another lip product i haven't done great on is the kaja lip stain trio that's what i'm gonna call it in the shade ginger now this is a fine formula it's definitely not my favorite like I use this, so I've used this two out of these seven times that I gold myself to reach for this. And the second time that I used it, I was like, do I really even want to like keep this lip product? Potentially I want to like declutter this alongside. I still have one left. Kaja did send me the whole range and I still have this like berry shade left. So I put this in my everyday makeup drawer so I could get use out of this shade and kind of see what color it stains my lips. I just, I don't think that this formula is really anything special. I don't think it's like a long lasting lip stain. It's really comfortable on the lips. It's not super drying, but I also don't think, like it's a formula that I literally could care less if I had in my collection. So I'm like, do I want to try and finish it or do I want to just declutter it? I do have a large lip product collection, but I also think like, especially the shade ginger, I'm like, maybe I keep ginger. I, that's why I pulled this to use this, but I still haven't gotten around to using this shade. Cause I'm like, do I really need this shade? I have my Fenty Beauty lip stains. I have some other lip stains. I have this YSL one. I'd be, you know, open to getting other YSL ones. Cause I really like those. Um, I personally just don't think this is the best lip stain on the market. I also think the packaging is kind of annoying. So not something I personally would repurchase. I do think no matter what, I will try and finish Ginger at some point. But I do still have five uses left on this product to roll this out of this project. All right, and the last product to update you on before we get to the products that I'll be rolling out is my Tula Radiant Skin Brightening Skin Serum Tint. I rolled this in with a seven use goal and I'm trying to look, trying to look, trying to look. I'm like, where am I at? 
It says I only reached for this one time. I swear I reached for it too. But I will say there's one other similar product to this that I'm rolling out. And I was definitely more heavily focused on that one. This is definitely a self-tanned shade match to me. Not like where I'm at today. I did self-tan one time in the past like two weeks. And I do plan to self-tan tomorrow. Um, but the other shade of foundation that I was working on in this project also is a self-tan shade. So I was able to get some use out of that. Only one out of my seven uses on this, but I am confident I can reach for this six times in the next month so that I can roll this one out next update. I'm hoping to get quite a bit of use out of this one in the summertime, um, and this expires June of 2024. So I need to finish this up before June. Is that gonna happen? I'm not so sure, but one out of six uses on this. Okay, so that brings us to the four products that we'll be rolling out. I have, first up, this product right here. I have a couple of seven use goals and a couple of no pan left behind goals. So first up, I have my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum. My goal is to use this seven times and I did use this seven times. I actually really enjoy this primer. I think it is a very, very beautiful hydrating primer. It has a little bit of a stick to it, so I do feel like it makes the slightest difference in the longevity of my makeup wear time. And it's just ultra hydrating, so I do really appreciate it for that. I do have a couple other primers that I'm working on in projects and a couple other primers that I'm hoping to finish off before the year is over. And then I will get to this one, but I'm really happy that I was able to use it seven times, especially this time of year when I'm looking for any and all hydration I can get to my skin but this will be rolling out and then another seven use goal that I will be rolling out is the it cosmetics CC nude glow color correcting skin tint I did reach for this seven total times and I will say while I was mixing this with my I was actually mostly mixing this with the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, which is definitely not a favorite product of mine, but these two mixed together, this one more than this, like two pumps of this to a little bit of this to match my um, self-tanned like shade. I really enjoyed that like combination. I wasn't sure I like loved this, but I actually really enjoyed it the seven times that I did use it. And I'm very excited to pull this back out this coming summer. It does have SPF 40 and it does obviously match me better when I am tan. So I'm liking this better than I thought I did. I'm glad that I've got the seven uses on it and it will be rolling out, but it's something I'm excited to reach for again in the coming months. And then the final two products that will be rolling out, I had a no pan left behind goal for each of these, meaning I use every single shade within the palette at least one time before rolling it out. I also have a no pan left behind series and I have been loving it. I've seen some of you start the no pan left behind series and tag me on Instagram or YouTube and it just makes me so happy because I truly feel like Doing No Pan Left Behind has made such a difference in how much I enjoy doing my eyeshadow looks every day and how much more creative I've been in terms of my like using of just like a single palette or two. So I'm so excited to see other people doing No Pan Left Behind. And I was not the original creator of No Pan Left Behind. I honestly don't know who created it, but it just makes me so happy to see others doing it. So I did reach my No Pan Left Behind goal with the Natasha Denona Mini Pastel Palette. I created, I think I reached for this palette two times, or I, I didn't think, I know. I reached for this palette two times to get my uses on it. And I really enjoy this palette. It's definitely not like an everyday sort of palette for me, but I'm really excited that I was able to know pan left behind it. I will be keeping this palette. I do really like all of these shades, not necessarily like all together, but like even like on their own, I really like all five of these shades. So I'm happy to have these in my collection and I'm happy to have a palette complete for No Pan Left Behind. And then I really got quite a bit of use out of this palette towards the end of 2023 and was so excited this got rolled in to this project in 2024. It is the Persona Identity Palette and I ended up reaching for this palette a total of 12 times. I do believe I have looks with this palette that I will share with you. Any looks that I've created that I've taken picture of, pictures of I will share over here um I have reached for all all shades at least one time um I reached for this shade right here the lid setting shade a total of eight times and I did end up hitting a pan on that shade I hope you'll be able to see maybe maybe not is it too bright can you really not see there we go there we go first pan 
first eyeshadow pan of 2024, which is so exciting. Um, so again, I reached for that eight total times. I reached for the shade Sassy two times, Gold Digger one, also Seductive one, Charming down here, I reached for it three times. Maverick, I reached for two times. Bombshell, I reached for once. Goddess, I reached for twice. I reached for Audacious one time. Chic one time, bossy two times, and then fearless, which is this matte brown shade, which I have right here. I've actually reached for this a total of 11 times. It is what I have in my brows today, and I've started to use this to fill in my brows as a brow powder again, and I have been loving it. So I'm gonna keep this little single pulled in my desk drawer and continue to use this as a brow setting powder because I feel like this is the perfect shade for me right now. Right now. Um, but I will say I really, really enjoyed creating the looks that I did with the Persona Identity One palette, and it just reminded me how much I love this palette, how much I love, especially just like how smooth the shimmers are in this palette, and it just, Every time I create a look with this palette, I just feel so flawless and beautiful. So I was so excited to use this and I look forward to continue to creating looks with this palette this year. Um, Bombshell is just a favorite shade of mine because it is this really beautiful kind of satin taupey sort of shade that has a bit of like a green shift to it. And I just look forward to reaching for that shade more throughout the year as well as, you know, maybe I could finish Fearless by the end of the year. Probably not, but maybe. Um, so I did finish this or complete this no pan left behind. So excited that through this project, I was able to finish or complete two additional palettes, no pan left behind style. My goal is to get through as many palettes in my palette collection as possible this year, no pan left behind style. So very excited to do that. And then again, I also hit my usage goal on these two products. So we have four new products to be rolling in to this project. Okay, you guys, sorry to jump scare you here. It is some number of hours. Well, by some number, I mean, it's like an hour later, but I had to go pick pizza up for my daughter because she was hungry. Um, so we did that and now it is time to pick my new product So I'm gonna go into my Excel spreadsheet and see how many products I currently have to be selected by the way um, <laughs> When I came back, I decided to put on this Kaja lip stain and I actually really like the shade So we'll be keeping this just an update on that Okay, I currently have 482 eligible products. My one rule for myself within this project is I don't wanna work on any more than two of the same like product category at any given time. That being said, I think the only product category that I am working on two of right now would be lip stains. So let's go into my random number generator. We're gonna randomly generate um, oh my gosh, I'm like, what am I doing? Clear history. Okay, we're doing four numbers between 1 and 482. And we get number 27, 464, 129, and 123. Okay, so the first number I believe was 27 which what is that number 27 <clears throat> interesting it's the aether beauty summer solstice palette let me highlight this so that i can post it so you guys can see okay i just went and grabbed this and i was like okay i feel like it makes sense for me to wrap everything up at the end so let's go through the other three numbers that we randomly generated so we have number 464 which is charlotte tilbury very victoria lipstick which i actually am currently working on in my deco painting project pants so we'll roll in a new number for that and then we had both number 129 as well as number 123. 129 is the Odin's Eye Low Ghost Palette. And 123 is Natasha Denona Yuka. So I did already roll in one palette. And because I rolled in Low Ghost first, we will go with Low Ghost. And we're going to have to re-roll for Yuka because, again, I don't want to be working on any more than two of the same product category at any given time. Let's choose two more numbers. We get number 402 and 466. I feel like it's 460. Okay, let's go to 402 first. 402. Tarte Maneater. Oh, the Tarte Maneater lip gloss. Okay. 
that is definitely not something I would organically reach for. So that's perfect. And then we had number 466, which is the Fenty Tang Tang lipstick, which was rolled into this project at the end of last year. And I was like, this is just such a seasonally irrelevant product. I really struggled to reach for, but I also just included that product in these products will self-destruct. So I'm gonna grab those last two products and I'll be right back to share with you the new products that are entering this project. Okay, you guys, I have everything and we are ready. I am ready to share them with you, what we're gonna be adding to the project. So up first, we have the Aether Beauty Summer Solstice Palette. This is what this palette looks like. And my sister actually gave this palette to me last year, I believe, in one of our like makeup trading sessions. And I actually really enjoy this palette. I think the masks in this palette are really, really nice. And I'm excited to know Pan Left Behind this palette just because I haven't done that yet. And I feel like you learn a lot through doing a No Pan Left Behind of a specific palette. You kind of learn whether or not you want to keep the palette in your collection. And by that, I mean, I could have a palette that I think I love so much because I love the palette for like one or two shades within the palette. But when it comes down to like No Pan Left Behind and really looking at the palette in a whole, like as a whole, like I'm trying to create a look out of this whole palette sometimes i realize i really only like the palette for like that one or two like the one or two shades and then i'm like do i really need this palette or do i have similar shades between these one or two shades now i don't think that's going to be the case with this i think i will genuinely love using this no pan left behind style do i wish that this rolled in more around like spring summer maybe but i also feel like there's some good like there's some pinks in here like we can have some fun with this palette for valentine's day and I'm excited to know Pan Left Behind this. So that is going to be the goal for this palette right here. And then I also rolled in the Lil Ghost palette, which was one of the Halloween palettes done in collaboration with Aniela Kanikovis. And I think this is such a fun palette. I am so excited to reach into this again. I had so much fun creating looks with this when I was first testing this out. And I'm really excited to jump into the purples again. I'm very excited about the neon yellow. Um, I think I could create a really fun, vibrant, like pinky, orangey coral look. And overall, I'm honestly just excited to like look into this palette and be even more creative, try and create looks that I didn't create already. Um, and my goal with this one is going to also be to no pan left behind this palette. So then the other two products that I rolled in are both lip products. Up first, we have the Tarte Man Eater Lip Plumping Gloss. This is in the shade Mob. And if I'm remembering correctly, I feel like this is one of the lip products. I'm going to put it on top of this, even though it doesn't necessarily match. I feel like this is one of those lip plumping glosses that like actually makes your lips hurt. But I could be wrong. But I feel like mauve is a color I'm typically reaching for in like the winter months, which here in Minnesota, the coldest months of the year are typically like February as well as January, which January just passed. But like February is typically the coldest month. I'm getting a lot of mintiness, possibly some pain soon. So this is definitely one of those glosses. I feel like I've considered potentially not keeping this around just because it's not like, I don't love a gloss that causes pain. I love my Lawless Forget the Filler so much. You guys know I have not been able to shut up about that product since it released in I believe 2021. And that product just, you know, it plumps your lips without causing pain. So I'm always like, okay, like why would I not just use that over like something that like actually causes pain when there's like a product that like gives me the plump I'm looking for without pain. Anyway, so far this isn't too, too painful. I'm trying to decide if I wanna just do seven uses with this or if I wanna go for something like a little bit more. Just trying to like think this through. I think next update I could potentially, like this should be a roll up because I have six more uses. This should be a roll up because I have five more uses. This should be a roll up because I have six more uses. Like I could, and I should be able to at least no pan left behind one, if not two. Ooh, yeah, it's actually causing some pain now. Okay. Mmm. Do I go with seven? Do I go with 15? It like is like uncomfortable now. Yep. Hmm. I feel like if I do seven uses, then I can like get bust through those seven uses and, and like justify keeping it in my mind but if I do 15 uses it's more of a challenge and then I'm gonna know for sure whether or not I like really should be keeping it or like shouldn't be should I do 15 uses 
I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna go 15 uses with the man eater. We're gonna go 15 because I feel like this is the only way I'm actually gonna get use out of this gloss. And then the final product that I rolled in was the Fenty Tang Tang um, lips, the Slip Shine lipstick. And I said in my, um, I said in, there's a swatch of it, I said in my, these products will self destruct. That like I need to finish this lip product up this year or like actually just get rid of it. This is how much I have left. <sighs> do I want to give myself a usage goal or do I want... Because this product will self-destruct, even if it's in for like a long time. Maybe this is like one of the more long haul products. What do I have for long haul products? I have this which is going to take some time to finish up. And then I also have this lip stain which like I'm not sure... And I can see this taking like a bit, like it's going to take a bit because I definitely see myself getting more use out of it in the spring summer. But also like, I mean, I do want to use this up this year. Maybe I am just going to give myself a use, like use it up goal. I might end up regretting this as well just because I don't think I'm going to get a ton of use out of this product the first month or two out of this year. Like I'm not 100% sure. Although I will say I'm thinking through some of the eyeshadow palettes that I recently purchased and there's some fun like bright corally oranges that i feel like could be really beautiful with the shade that i just wiped off that i'm showing you my uh i'm gonna give myself a goal of finishing this off i did want to have like a mix of like hard goals as well as easy goals so i'm gonna give myself a use it up goal with this so we have two use it up goals i do have three still remaining seven use goals that i think i'll be able to finish for the next update i have a couple of no pan left behinds we still have 18 uses left to go with baby but you know it is valentine's day it's the month of love so i think i should i could have some fun with this shade it's still february again cold month cool tones i feel like we could get some good use on this i don't necessarily know that i'll 100 finish up the shade baby by next update but i definitely think i can make some good progress we got a 15 use goal on this yeah i'm feeling good about this i am feeling good about this uh that's gonna wrap it up for today's whole collection of project pan update would love to know in the comments below if you're doing this project what products you recently finished up in a project um let me know what product you think i'm gonna have the most trouble hitting my goal on i would love to hear your feedback in the comments below other than that thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video Mwah. bye